how to find products that constantly get 10,000 pounds of profit per month selling on Amazon FBA. Um, some of these techniques, some of this video is taken directly from our course. So it's really, really, really good stuff. Definitely stay tuned for the whole video. You're gonna absolutely love it. And, and yeah, so literally this is taken probably from the course and I hope you enjoy it. So before before we break get into the video, let's just break down what 10,000 pounds in profit actually means. How many items do you have to sell every single month? Well, let's say that you are making 10 pounds profit per item, okay? Or you know what, let's say, let's say you're making 15 pounds profit um, per item and you need to make 10,000 pounds profit, right? So let's divide that by 15 and you've got 666 sales every single month. Now, if we do 666 divided by 30, that's 22 sales a day. Now, if you have a look at um, these sales that have just popped up on the screen, you'll, ha you'll see 22 sales a day is really, really easy as soon as you get going with the business. From day one, 22 sales will be hard, but as soon as you get into the business, 22 sales a day is nothing. So, um, which means 666 is very achievable, which means 10,000 a month is very achievable. So let's just, let's get into the video. If you if you have anything to say, leave a comment down below, ask any questions, um, if you have anything like anything you wanna ask, and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video, but let's just, let's just get right into it. So, um, first we have to know where to begin. Well, I've got my screen recording here, and um, I've got a few tabs open of all the different things we're going to be needing, and, I just want to quickly say one thing which is quite important is you might be thinking why don't I just sell a product that's 30 pounds profit and then I don't need as many. Well one thing to understand, one thing, that, one thing that's very important is the higher profit the item is going to be, the more expensive it will be for you to source that product which means the more money you'll need to actually start this business. So if your profit per product is 30 pounds which is, will be amazing, um, it means you'll need a lot more money um, to start up and buy the inventory. So I'm assuming I mean, you don't want to spend more than maybe a thousand pounds um, for inventory just to get started and that's what I'm basing this information around. So what do we have to do first? Well first we have to know how to find products and where to look and what the product criteria needs to be. So I've opened up this product database. Now this is on the AMZ Scout website, it's their product database tool. You don't need to buy this. Um, I'm not selling the product database tool here. Um, however, I will be talking to you a bit later about the Chrome extension because that's actually the tool that we're going to be using. But the product database, I'm just showing you um, just so you can see what like, what you need, um, what the criteria are. So we've got the categories. What categories should be ticked? Well, you've, I've already ticked a whole bunch of categories and um, you can probably tick health and household as well. Um, you can tick... Okay, so that's good. So you've got health and household, beauty, personal care, home and kitchen, kitchen and dining, office products, patio lawn, pet supplies, and sports and outdoors. And then we want to go for price. So remember, we wanted between 10 and 15 pounds profit. That will enable us to get between 650 to 700, 800 sales a month. And um, that's what we'll need. So let's say price would be... Um, 15 pounds, okay, the price should be fit between 15 and 35 pounds. The rank has to be a maximum of 2,000, and I'm gonna explain what these different elements are during the video, but the best seller rank has to be maximum of 2,000, otherwise there's just not enough demand. The estimated sales, gonna leave that, gonna leave the estimated reviews, um, um, sorry, not the estimated reviews, the estimated revenue, and the reviews, we don't want there to be more than 350 reviews, and the reason for this is because it just, becomes way too competitive. So the weight has to be about one pound, maybe under one pound, because we want we don't want it to cost a fortune for shipping, and we don't wanna get charged extra in Amazon. Now, that's all that you really have to worry about. In terms of product tier, you want standard, not oversized, and um, seller type, you only want to um, look at FBA, not, people, uh, not Amazon, and not fulfilled by merchant. Okay, and now what you could do with the product database is click apply, and it will show you all the different product ideas. Now, I'm assuming you don't want to spend money on the product database, so I'm gonna show you how to actually come up with ideas yourself. Okay, so what we're gonna do is, 
We've got Amazon here and I'm gonna show you three different ways to come up with ideas. One of them is my favorite, but like I didn't think I'd ever share this idea out of our course, but like I said, some of this information is from our course, which is why um, I'm really, really excited to make this video because hopefully it will allow a lot more people to get in um, to selling on Amazon. So let's start with idea number one. Idea number one is very basic. It's just having a look at the best sellers to, to get some ideas. Well, obviously you could look around where you are and just pick up some ideas so I can see pens, microphone, pads, um, well, I've got a camera there, um, a whole bunch of different random things, right? So that's how you can just start getting your brain in the in the frame, like in, in the mindset of looking, of thinking up product ideas. So let's go to best sellers, and then remember the categories you said. So let's start with uh, let's start with sports and outdoors, because that was one of the categories that we could potentially go into. And let's have a look at what we've got here. So we've got, well, these numbers here is the rank. So remember we said under 2,000, and I'm gonna explain that in more detail soon, but just bear in mind, this has a rank of two. So that's brilliant. So we've got the stainless steel water bottles. That's an idea written down. We've got, um, this is all too cheap. Yoga mats written down. We've got um, more stainless steel water bottles. But bottles seem to be very, very popular. We've got an ab roller. It's a bit cheap, but we could probably sell a premium one for a bit more. We've got wrist support. It's not bad. We've got um, compression socks that starts at 8.95 because up to 30 pounds. So we've got a foam roller. We've got goggles, 14 to 30 pounds. That looks very, very good. So what this is um, showing us, this is just showing us different potential ideas of what we could sell because if it's showing up in the top 100, it's going to be a popular item and we want to sell popular items. However, we don't want to sell popular items that have too many reviews. And we're gonna see how it all um, like molds together very soon. So that's one way of coming up with a list of product ideas. Another way is to go to, um, if we go back to um, Amazon bestsellers, we've got most wished for. Now I love this most wished for because this is literally telling you what people want, right? It's not telling you what people are buying, but it's telling you what people want. So if we go to sports and outdo outdoors for most wished for, We've got outdoor gloves, we've got the uh, ab rollers, we've got re, re, like a bench bag, that's gonna to be too big. We've got the water bottles, we've got a lot of, a lot of um, smart watches, we've got this thermal fleece we have. We've got tons of cool things, right? Now this is just one category. Once we go through all those different categories that we spoke about here, we've got home and kitchen, kitchen and dining. Once we go through all of those categories, we should be, we should have quite a large list, maybe 30 to 50 items. Now, yes, as soon as we start looking into those items in the way that I'm gonna show you, um, they're going to obviously start looking like they're a bit rubbish and we'll start whittling that list down, which is fine, that's very normal. But I did say I would show you three ways. So the third way, and this is gonna sound really stupid, but the third way is literally typing in by a letter at a time on your keyboard. So you can type in like F, and then you can start seeing what comes up. And the things that come up in the search over here are obviously going to be the most popular items because they are the most searched for. So you've got foam roller, okay. First aid kit, <laughs> that, that sounds cool. Let's put uh, an R in there and we've got fridge thermometer. Friendship gifts, fridge magnets, friction pens, fruit bowls, frying pans. Let's just change it up a bit. Let's go L. Um, well, that's a lot of interesting stuff. Um, we've got L. Um, let's put an R after that. Mm, R doesn't come after L. What am I thinking? Um, let's put an A after that. We've got lavender essential oil, laptop bag. That could be a potential. Laundry basket, laptop stand, laminator, um, lanyard, um, lava lamp, laundry bags. So. In my mind, this is the best way to look for products. Let's do T. We've got toilet roll. Mm, let's do TR. TNR is a good one. Travel pillow, travel mug, tripod. There's a lot of travel stuff. So in my mind, this is one of the best ways to look for products just because they're so random and that is what sells on Amazon. The most random things. Whenever I tell anyone um, what our product is, they literally say to me, how the hell did you come up with that idea? That's the most random thing ever. And I literally just said, it's because I did the research and 
it doesn't matter how random a product is, if it shows potential that it can sell, then it then that, that it doesn't matter if you're selling, uh, I don't know, a lipstick holder to a wallet to, I don't know, the the tips of, of the, the pencil, and it's just the most random, it doesn't matter, it can be random, so it literally can be as random as you want. Now, just to quickly show you, if you do want to find the best sellers by just searching, you can do a minus sign and type a whole bunch of random letters, and then click enter, and this will bring up all the best sellers, okay? When my internet loads, that is. I don't have the best internet. I probably should. Right, so you can see it shows up all the best sellers. So best seller, best seller, best seller. Now, again, you're not gonna be selling any of this Amazon stuff, but the reason why this is so cool is because not only can you choose the departments you wanna see the best sellers in, you can choose the reviews, and you can choose, well, you used to be able to choose the price, if I remember correctly, but they don't seem to do that anymore. So no, you can't choose the price anymore unless I'm missing something. So that is one quick way of just looking at what all the best sellers are, which I kind of like. However, let's go back to um, the idea of just random letters. Okay, so let's do TR, because I like Travel Pillow. Now, once you've, once you've got your whole list of 50 products, you have to start whittling them down, and this is where we're gonna use the AMZ Scout Chrome extension, okay? And that's this little tab over here, and when you click that, this thing pops up and it gives you all of this information. It shows you the overall score, the profit, demand, competition. Let's exit out of that and we've got all of this information. Now, this is probably looking really, really confusing to you, especially if you've never sold on Amazon before. However, I'm going to explain to you the only important things you need to get yourself going and then we are going to um, Whittle this product down. See if it's very. See if it's any good. We might even go and look at it on um, some websites to sort, try and source it. But we're probably not because this is just about finding products that can make you ten thousand a month. Okay. So let's just wait for this to load. And once it's finished loading, um, I will go into it with into detail with you. It's a lot of information, as you can see. That's probably why it takes mm, like a minute or two to load because it's just loading so much information. Okay, so these are all the different, this is all the information you could possibly need. And now, the reason we use a tool is because without using a tool, what we'd have to do is, if I'll exit out of this, what we'd have to do is we'd have to open each individual product on a new tab, open link in new tab, open link in new tab, and do that over and over again. Scroll, wait for it to load, obviously, each time. Now, you might have better internet than me, um, but what you'd have to do is you have to scroll down, you'd have to look at the BSR, so we can see the BSRs of it is over here, 867, um, and we would look at the whole listing, and it would just, it's just really, really time consuming. However, when we click the AMZ Scout um, Chrome extension, it gives us all the information of all the products in one, in one group. Like, it's just so much easier to look at. So, now, what are we, um, what are we looking for here? Well, we are looking for some um, some of these products to tick the right boxes. Now, we tend to look at the top 20 products. So here we can see the results. Here are 32 results, okay? We want um, at least 10 of those products to fit in our criteria and about 20 of them to not necessarily fit in the criteria, but to have elements of the criteria. And remember what I said the criteria was. The criteria was a sales price of 15 to 35 pounds, the BSR to be under 2,000, and the reviews to be under 350. Okay, that's our main criteria. Now we could go deeper and look at estimated revenue and, and, and um, the average rating of the reviews, because if it's all low rating, you could probably get in there with a high, um, rating and beat out your competition. Also, you could look at the seller, so FBA or is it Amazon? Um, if there's too many Amazons, then avoid it. This one, you can see there's only, I can only see three Amazons and everyone else is FBA, which is brilliant. That's exactly what we want. Okay, so remember, rank, price, um, and number of reviews. Now, we can also go a bit deeper. Once we've whittled down all the products to those 
to those um, criteria, we can go even deeper and look at the FBA fees. Um, we can, like this tool shows you everything, right? So if we click on this, we can see their exact FBA fees. We can see how much they're paying for monthly storage, how much their pick and pack fee is, how much their referral fee is. It really shows you everything. It shows you their net margin, which is 52%. Now you have to put their product cost in. So let's say the product cost one pound 50, their net margin goes down to 30% because they're only selling it for 6.95. However, if they sold it for 14.95, like we would, their net margin goes up to 59%, okay? And their estimated monthly profit is 9,248. That is just under what we're looking for with 10,000, okay? So let's have a look at this tool and um, see. Now, I've loaded a lot, of, a lot of products. I've loaded 55 here, which is why it's still loading because I clicked the next 20. Um, but let's have a look. So you've got the number one pillow has a rank of 56. Then you've got this Amazon Basics one of a ridiculous rank. That's an anomaly. I would ignore that. You've got a, a rank of 867, 353, 336, 61, 844. Basically, you've got, let's have a look, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 17 products I can just see just from this first view that have a BSR of under 2000. That is insane. That shows a ridiculous demand. And of those 17, you've got a whole handful of them under 500. So that shows a ridiculous, ridiculous amount of demand. And if there's a demand for product, then you need to provide more product to them so that you can get sales, right? Supply and demand. It's just that's basic business right right there. So the next thing we want to look at is the price. So we've got a whole variety of prices. We've got 25, 16, 12, 20, 17, 15, 15, 30, 16, 16. So the price here is also spot on. This is excellent in terms of price. Um, the only thing that this concerns me is it might weigh over a pound, but because it's a pillow um, and it can probably be folded up and then blown up because usually they're blown up, um, I don't see why it should weigh more than a pound. It could probably pack into a very, very small container as well to save you money on shipping. So the, the, the rank has tick box. The price ticks the box as well. Now the next thing we have to look at is the, um, the number of reviews. So remember what we said, we want um, about 10 to 20 that have under 350 reviews. However, you have to remember, this is not an exact science. This is adaptable. If some products have high reviews and some have low BSR and there's not, if it doesn't take the boxes completely across the board, look into it a bit deeper, right? And see, okay, there's, the reviews are a bit higher than I want, but the, the demand is so, so good that it makes up for the high number of reviews. So that's really what you can do. So let's just, let's just take a look at these reviews. We've got... Um, well, the first one has 1,210, so they're pretty solid being the number one spot. But again, we don't have to be the number one spot, we can be the number two spot. And if you look at the third person, they have 42 reviews, which is so easy to get, and they are the number three spot. That's insane. Then you've got 247 reviews. Yes, that's got four, nearly four and a half thousand. You've got 123, 325, 412, 29, 95. So, this one's four and it's on the first page, 45, zero. <laughs> so in my mind, yes, there are quite a few, like this has 1,210, 4,300, 4 to 112, 707, 596. There is definitely a few that have over 350. However, the large majority of them have under 350, which, which is really, really good. So I wouldn't say that's like a full tick box. I'll say that's like half a tick box because mm, it's, it will be, the competition is there, but because there's so much demand, it, it looks doable, okay? And now, please just remember, I mean, you don't have to believe me here, but I've literally, this is all on the spot here. Like, I didn't do any pre um, looking up products to see if I can find a good product, because that's, I mean, that's a bit fake. Um, this is literally the first product I'm looking up, and this is what I'm getting. Um, if this doesn't prove that there is still um, room for you to sell on Amazon, then I don't know what else there is because, like I said, you don't have to believe me, that's completely fine, um, but this is legit, legit the um, on the spot research right here and I'm already finding a ridiculously good product. 
So I'm not even sure I'm going to post this video live because I might want to do this product. No, no, I'm going to do it because it's really cool. It's really cool that I found this. Okay, so let's get back into it. So you've got, so the reviews seem pretty good as well. Now, I know that there are some reviews are quite high. However, if we go to the actual individual ratings of the reviews, and this is going into it a bit deeper here now because we really are going to go slightly deeper because this does look like a good product, but we still have to try and see where it could go wrong because when we sell on Amazon, we really, really want to make sure it's a, just it's going to be a winner. We want to like ensure it's going to be a winner. So the only thing concerning me are the reviews at the moment. However, if we look at the rating, 4.1, 4.4, 4.4, 4.4, 4.5, there's not very many five star um, products out there, right? You've got 4.7 and 4.7. I think it's 4.76 to average out five stars. Um, you've got 4.7 again, that's one five star here. But there's not very many five star products, um, which means that's room for you to, to get into the market with a high quality item um, and just keep reviews up, get good reviews. Now we could, we could look at the estimated revenue, but I hate doing this because I don't think any company can get the estimated revenue. Now saying that, I've used a variety of different tools. I'm not gonna name names, I don't like um, sh shaming, but I've used a variety of tools and what I tend to do is I tend to look at our revenue, search for the, our product and look at what they claim our revenue to be because obviously I know exactly what our revenue is going to be so I can see how close they are and um, based on all the different tools I've used I found that AMZ Scout and Helium 10 are the two closest ones. AMZ Scout just a tad just I, I think AMZ Scout get it a slightly bit more and I know you're probably saying yeah but you're selling AMZ Scout as an affiliate but I'm selling all of them as an affiliate. Jungle Scout, Helium 10, AMZ Scout um, it's just another source of income. So whenever I promote anything or whenever I talk about anything, I'm gonna be an affiliate. Like if I'm talking about my credit card and I have a link in the description, it will most likely be an affiliate link. That's just what everyone on YouTube does, right? Disclaimer alert. So, um, but in, I personally think that the AMZ Scout does get it very, very, very close to what you are actually making. But so if we wanted to, we could look at the estimated revenue. This guy says making 50,000, 8,000, 7,000, 21,000, 8,000, 13,000, 17. Like we could look at that, but I wouldn't focus on that. Like I said, focus on the rank, the price, the, um, the reviews. And if you want to go a bit deeper, the actual ratings of the reviews. Now, I was gonna look at more products after this, but I seem to have found a ridiculously good product. So I am pretty, pretty content with that. I'm gonna show you two more things um, to determine whether or not a product could be, there's room for you in the market, okay? Now, again, I wasn't planning on showing you those two things until about 10 seconds ago, but I'm gonna show them to you anyway. So what we can do is we can open up three or four, maybe five of the products and we can go through them. And we can look at their listings and see how good their listings have been made, okay? if. All the listings are made incredibly well. It's going to be harder for us to be unique and compete, right? If everyone's selling the, if, if, like, it's just that's just common sense. If everyone has amazing copy and amazing images, what are we going to do to stand out? We can't stand out with amazing copy and amazing images because everyone already has that. So we have to think of something else. Now, if we have a look at some of these products, yes, these images are brilliant, and that's actually a really cool pillow. Um, but yeah, so. Images are great. Title is poor, really poor. Bullets are really, really poor. Description is non-existent. Um, I can't even find a description. Oh, no, no, oh, sorry. This is a description. Okay, it's actually quite good. Um, you could only get this kind of description if, you, if you're like a special partner with Amazon, but won't worry about that now, it's not important. Um, but let's have a look at another one. Great images as well. I'm not quite sure what that thing is, but it looks super uncomfortable. Push the button to inflate. Oh, okay, cool. Right, it's got a pretty good title, lots of keywords here. Mm, bullets are basic. Ugh, they're a bit rubbish, to be honest. The description is... So you've got this from the manufacturer, but the actual description 
it's okay, got some bold here, got some uh, benefits, it's okay, it could be better. Um, so that's another thing we would look at is actually the individual product. Now the final thing we'd look at, and let me, because I, I showed you, I, these are all the pages I was gonna have open to show you, but this is completely new, I just decided to do this. We're gonna look at the Google Keyword Planner because one thing people don't do is they don't really, um, they don't really focus on many keywords. They will focus on one keyword and try and get to number one for that. Now, the way you are gonna stand out is you are going to focus on 50 keywords. Yes, you heard that right, 50 keywords. Let's just, here we go. You're gonna focus on 50, 50, 50, 50. You're gonna focus on 50 keywords and the reason you're gonna do this is because if you're getting 20 sales from one keyword, like, people who are focusing on one keyword will be getting, you focus on 50 keywords, even though the keywords are long tail. So when I say long tail, I mean the main keyword would be travel pillow, but a long tail keyword would be gray travel pillow or soft travel pillow or travel pillow for airlines, travel pillow for trains. These are just things I've made up in my head, but they'll get a lot fewer searches. However, all of them combined will give you those extra sales which will boost your main keywords up and allow you to hit our goal of 600 to 800 sales a month, which is what we want to get to 10,000, because that is the aim here, to get to 10,000 profit every single month. So what we would do is we'd click find new keywords, we'd enter the main one, which is travel pillow, and we'd get started. Now, this will also allow us to see some demand, okay? So not only does it give us more examples, neck pillow, travel neck pillow, best travel pillow, airplane pillow, it's giving us so many different keyword ideas, okay? So that's just one benefit of using the Google keyword tool, which by the way is totally free. Um, it's also telling us how good those keywords are. So travel pillow gets 10 to 100,000 searches a month. That is, oh my gosh, that's amazing. That is so, so good, right? And then you've got these are one to 10,000, 100 to 1,000, not so good, but again, all of those added up, it, it becomes it becomes very, very good. You've got a lot of 1,000s to 10,000s, okay? You can also sort by average monthly searches. So you've got 10,000 to 100,000. Memory foam pillow, 10,000 to 100,000 as well. And then you've got 1,000 to 10,000. A few of those, and then a lot of 100 to 1,000s. You could go for 100 keywords if you want. Don't have to go for 50, um, but that is the final way which I'm going to tell you about in terms of looking for a product. Now, there are lots more ways. I've spoken about five of the criterias. In our course, we go over 13 criterias because like I said, we do not, under any circumstances, want to go into a product if it is not going to be a winner. We've had failed products, which is why we come out with this, this, this way of researching, this way of having all these different criteria because when we, when we bring a product to market, we need to know it's gonna succeed. That's just the way we like to work. Um, so in our course, we'll have all of those criteria, but again, I'm not gonna worry about that now. Um, this, is just, this is just product research. So let's, let's move on. During, the, um, um, during this whole video, I've used something called the AMZ Scout Chrome Extension, which I've told you about, which shows up over here. Now, if you would like to buy that, um, the link will be the first link in the description and it will take you to a page that looks like this. Okay, you can pay with Visa, MasterCard, or PayPal. I know this sounds like a bit of an ad here, but um, this is the way, like, I will get a small percentage of this, a very small percentage of this, and that is basically the way I would make money um, from it. Now, you may be thinking, I'm only, like, I'm only saying good things about this tool because I'm promoting it, but that isn't really the case because I use this tool every single day, and if you've watched any of my prior videos, if you've watched me at all on YouTube, you'll know I'm I'm quite genuine and I'm quite open about everything I do and I'm not just trying to get money out of you guys, I actually genuinely want you to succeed, which is why we have all these different, uh, we have all our students in our course, we have all these different free mentorship programs for them, um, which help them pretty much succeed as much as they can. I spend most of my time now responding to emails, responding to Facebook messages, doing live Q and A's, doing more webinars, so, um, if I really wanted to just aimlessly go out there and 
sell you stuff to make commission, I probably wouldn't do it this way. Um, so if you are interested in doing it, it would help me out. It would it would make this whole YouTube game, this whole creating videos every single day, just a lot more worth it for me um, because it actually pays me to do it. Um, so the first link in the description will take you to that page where you can purchase it. Now, on top of that, because I like to, like I said, I don't just want you to buy it and then that's it. I'm gonna leave you there with this video and the tool and see if you can succeed. I wanna help you a bit. And now I did tell you we have a course, but I'm not gonna promote our course right now. What I will say is, when you sign up with our link um, for AMZ Scout, we have our own bonuses. We like to, we, we like to incentivize you signing up, so not just so that we are getting a bit of commission from you signing up, but we actually want to make that commission um, we actually want to have worked for that commission a bit. So when every, anyone signs up, they will send an email to our email address called azonunihelp at gmail.com and they'll get a series of bonuses. And I want to tell you what those bonuses are because I, like I said, I want to really give you as much value as possible if you actually bought through our link, right? So the first bonus is Prime Product Winners, and this was made by me and my brother Josh, who actually made the course, um, Azon University. Um, and this is a breakdown series for how to find a winning product. It shows you profitable product research, um, in-depth PDF guides, um, and then we've got the bonus two, and this is very, very cool. This is the AMZ Scout Honors Program. Now, if you have a look, like I told you, with AMZ Scout, there's a lot of information there to digest, to understand, and we know that, and we've had people confused. So what we um, like to do is offer this AMZ Scout Honors Program, which is exclusive training, which is literally only, only for our students of Azon University and for people now who buy um, um, AMZ Scout through our link. Um, but in video, you've got video one, which is showing you how to use it. Video two is a breakdown of all the data, and video three is literally diving in deep to find the right product. And all of this is free with um, AMZ Scout. So if you did want to buy AMZ Scout, um, just note, all you have to do is send us an email with the confirmation email that you get from them, the receipt, um, where it says the amount, and I will forward you all of these bonuses. Um, like I said, I literally, I want you to get to that 10,000 a month on Amazon. It doesn't affect me um, to for you not to. It, it would make me feel a lot better if you actually did do it and did succeed, which is why I'm doing this, which is why I'm giving you these free um, bonuses with the tool. So that is pretty much it for this video. I could do a recap. What we did is we went over the um, different ways to find a product. We went over the criteria for a product, which is gonna be the rank, the price, the, um, what does it say, the reviews, um, all of that stuff. And you can see that all here. We went through how to find a product, which is the, um, the wish list method, the, the top 100 method, the best seller method, which is like searching at random numbers. Uh, random letters I mean, and the keyboard random letter method, which again, like I said, is my favorite. We also went over some bonus criteria, which is like um, using the keyword tool to find 50 different keywords, and actually looking deep into the product to see how well other people have actually created their listings to see if there's room for us to grow. Um, but that is it for this very, very long video. Um, if you have stayed the entire way, then all I can say is thank you so much. I really, really appreciate it. And if you have any questions whatsoever, leave a comment down below. Um, I am in the process of starting some sort of Instagram where you can post questions and I will do live Q and A's um, based on the questions I get on Instagram. But if you have maybe more personal in-depth questions or just questions about our course or um, taking um, or buying AMZ Scout, then you can also email me at azonuniversity at gmail.com. But again, don't get the two emails mixed up. If you want to send the receipt to receive the bonuses, that goes to azonunihelp at gmail.com because that, that email is reserved just for people who um, buy the um, AMZ Scout um, Chrome extension. So I uh, that this is it for this video. Thank you so so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in mm, next week's video maybe. Anyway, see you there guys.